Hello everyone, my name is Tim Hansen, and today I'm going to show you how to configure GeoIP filtering on a SonicWall Gen 7 Sonic OS 7 firewall. For GeoIP filtering, there are really two ways you can apply the service. Okay, so you can configure GeoIP so that it's a global setting. In other words, all traffic going to or coming from a public IP address will get resolved to a country of origin or destination. And then the traffic to or from those IP addresses will either get allowed or blocked based on, well, whether you're allowing access to or from that country. And then the second way you can apply geofiltering is you can do it on a per access rule basis. So essentially you'd be able to select different GeoIP settings per access rule or per firewall rule. Okay. And like I said before, you can apply these methods together or on their own. You'll see what I mean here shortly as we roll on in the video. Okay, so all the GOIP related settings can be, well, not all of them, most of them, the global options in any case, can be found under Policy, Security Services, and GOIP Filter. There's a simple toggle button to turn it on here. And then we get this option to either use GOIP filtering as a global setting, or if we want to apply it on a per access rule basis, this is where we would click. Okay. We get a few other options here. So if we're using a custom list, we would turn this on, save it, and then go over to the custom list page. And then once here, we can select an IP address or a group of IP addresses we're defining and assign it to a country. And you would typically use the custom list for correcting a IP address or an IP address that's been resolved to the incorrect or to a incorrect country. Okay, so moving over to the countries tab, here is where you would define globally what countries you want to block access from or to. Okay, so you would just scroll through the list, move over any country you want to block like so and then you can also block all unknown countries in case you get an IP address whose country of origin comes back as unknown it does happen from time to time all right and then below we can add hosts or networks to the exclusion list if we want to skip the geo IP filter okay and then the web block page is where we can edit the message the end user is going to see when they try to access a website that matches a block country. Okay, and here we have some diagnostics that gives us some statistics related to GeoIP filtering and of course a geolocation lookup test if you want to immediately resolve an IP to a country. All right, so that's pretty much how you set up the global options for GeoIP filtering. It's pretty straightforward. So the next part I'll look at is how to apply GeoIP filtering on a per access rule basis. Okay, so just before we head over to the access rules, we'll want to go under settings and then select the firewall rule based connections option. So let's move over to my access rules now. I'll just find a random one and open it up and move over to the security profiles tab. And then what you'll see is you'll see the GOIP section here, but it'll all be grayed out. Okay, so this is the default setting for GOIP filtering when you're applying it on a per access rule basis. And what this means is simply put, no GOIP filtering will be applied to any traffic hitting this access rule. Okay, so if I don't want to block any countries hitting this rule, this is great, I can leave it as so. However, if I do want to enable GOIP, uh, GOIP filtering, I'm sorry, for this rule, number one, I'm going to have to turn it on here. And then number two, I'm going to have to decide whether I want it applied according to the global settings. 
In other words, block traffic coming from or going to countries I've chosen under the global settings we were looking at a minute ago. In which case, I could select this option here. Or do I want to mix things up and apply different GYP settings for this one access rule? In which case, I would select this here. So let's just say this access rule, I want to define different settings than are applied globally, or I want to block different countries than are blocked globally. I would, just like the global settings, scroll through the list, drag over or click over any countries I want to block, and then save the rule. Okay. The only tedious part of this is, of course, if you are going to have a large number of access rules, then you do have to go through rule by rule and pick how you want UIP filtering applied, if at all, of course. Okay. All in all, it's a reasonably simple security service to set up, but it's extremely effective at reducing, reducing your footprint or your exposure to or even from less reputable countries, should we say. Okay, so that's uh, going to be it for setting up GOIP filtering. And I'll say thanks for watching and see you next time.